Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jen Joy Plans. Today I am showing you my kit storage, my kit lineup. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think it would be like kit storage. Um, but it's basically my lineup for the next couple months and kind of how I um, organize my kits and try to plan things out. I really don't know. Everybody kind of has a different system and this is what works for me and yeah so i will just jump right into it this is in eight by eight i think photo album that i actually got at michael's when i got this i just wasn't sure what kind of system i wanted to commit to for my kits if i wanted to do a binder like a three ring binder or an album so this is what I landed on. It was just a more affordable album. I got this on major sale at Michael's. It's just plain white. Um, I don't even know how many pages it has, but yeah. So uh, and it just has clear sleeves and I just added in scrapbooking paper that I already had for my Cricut and I just cut it in for the 8x8 size and colors that I liked. And yeah, so I go through, it's like an ever-changing, and I just kind of update it. I'm going to open it up to just show you what I'm kind of talking about. So basically, I have my kits with my sticky notes, and these sticky notes are the vellum ones from Rose Colored Days. Some sticky notes are like literally on the kits, and that's like a a hard fast that kit has to go with that week um, because something it probably relates otherwise if it's just on the top of the uh, clear sheet then that's my sign of like it this can be moved it's totally flexible so that's kind of my system and I just write the Monday of the date I don't typically write any like events well no that's not true yes I do I'll write like an event if it is something pertaining so um like i said this is eight by eight it works for me like i said it's budget friendly i think it was seven dollars for this album at my local michaels and that was about the commitment level that i was ready to spend at the time i think now i could upgrade but i still really like this system there's nothing wrong with it and it visually works for me, so I'm happy with it. Um, over here in the corner, I have this little sticky note that is kind of keeps me on track of like kits I need. So I just seasonally, just chicken scratch, kind of write out some kits I'm either thinking about, and then as soon as I buy it, I cross it off, and some ones to kind of keep on my radar so I don't over purchase. And then, like I said, I just have my weeks planned out. So I'm just going to flip through. This is next week that I need to plan with after this video. And like I said, if they're on top, that means it's flexible and ever changing. And then if it's on, then that means it's hard set. So this is my friend's wedding. So I knew I needed to use that kit with that. And I'm just going to do a quick flip through. I don't think I'm going to talk about them because that's what I use my monthly kit lineup to really talk about. But a lot of mysteries. And then when it comes to weeks that it's blank, I either have it truly blank or I'll make a little note. Like this is Watercolor Seas from Glam Planner. So I try to write the shop name and the kit name. And I'm doing a collab with my friend Sam. And this kit is coming to me right now. It's already ordered, so I wanted to make a marker for this. And I already put the foil that I'm going to be using with it in place. And I kind of like this 8x8 size because it can hold like the foil. It's not too tight. And weeks that I do Franken planning, I'm kind of like putting a lot of things in that week's kind of folder. That way I don't have to put it in a vellum, or not a vellum, uh, like a protective sleeve or anything like that. I can just kind of slide it into the pocket. And then I update the pockets, like I move everything forward about every three 
or so weeks, sometimes every four. Then this week, we see we're getting later into summer. I am, haven't bought these kits. No, that's not true. I haven't bought this kit. If it has a question mark, that means like, I'm thinking I really wanna buy this kit. And I always put the shop name. So this is the town kit from Crest Press. I really want it, but I'm just maybe waiting for a sale or maybe, maybe waiting for, I don't know, not better art. That sounds really bad, but um, just to make sure I'm like 100% sold, but that's the kit and the art that I want to use. So I know shops like Cress Press ship really fast, so I can wait until probably mid-July even at the absolute latest to use it during this week. And I don't like, this is my first opening in the summer is beginning of August. So I know that I have time for like the watercolor seas. I knew that I was using it this week. But I just like bought it probably two weeks ago. So then I changed the sticky note so it wasn't a question mark or anything. Um, and what was I even saying? I don't even know. Maybe that no question mark. Like I'm just waiting for it. But the question mark means that I haven't bought it yet. I'm just thinking about it. And I like to do that just like as a placeholder so I know like there is a kit that I am eyeing. Then if I buy something from the buy sell trade, I mark that too. So I'm waiting for this really cute roller skating art from Crest Press last year. And then, like I said, if there is something special, I'll note so like this is the last week of summer. And if you recognize, I was going to use this in June. I'm just kind of pausing on it. It has so, I have so many full boxes for this and I feel like I need to use it on a week that like I'm doing a lot. And I felt like the week I planned, it was just like any old kit. And I feel like this could be like a really special spread. So I just kind of put it on hold. Then uh, leap week means like teacher training week. So I thought it might be fun to bring in kind of this anytime kit that um, somebody got in the Misfit Random Pull, but I bought it from them and just as like a marker of settling back into school routines so this is kind of like where summer ends that's why i said last week of summer so all these other kits are just random summer like i said subject to change if it's just on I might switch things around because nothing's really planned still waiting for my back to school kit i have we have a friend's wedding so i'm going to use that although I'm selfishly thinking I might want to use this kit for my birthday. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I should use this kit for my birthday. Because my birthday is in the beginning of November, so it's like true fall birthday. And nobody ever makes fall birthday art or like fall celebratory art. It's either kind of darker winter or, I don't know, spring or summer. I've never seen any fall art, so... We will see. I think I'm gonna use it for the wedding though. Cause it does scream a little bit more wedding than birthday. But we'll see. Then I have for the first week of fall. And then if I know, I try to plug in mysteries and I know, well, I don't know, no. But from all my observation and talking with other people, SPC is about two months out for their planning. So July would mean like September fall type of art. So I have this here as a placeholder just again so I don't over purchase and buy too many kits and I don't really like to carry over anything especially seasonal art. I'm fine with any time art but I try not to carry over any seasonal art. Just buy what I need and I already bought some things from the buy sell trade and from Glitch so that's why it's already here. And then that is the end. So you can see this gets me about, let's see, four months worth of um, kit planning and just a lot of flexibility. The sheets, like I said, these stay in here. I just will like switch out the kit and move it to the next. Um, like I said, every bit, every like three weeks or so. So that is my current kit.
kit storage. And then if I have any extra leftover kits, I have this that I actually got at the dollar store back when I first started planning. And it's like one of those accordion. And this is where I just keep like check boxes, extra like things that I got in random pulls. And then I just have a section for like kits. And I will feed these in whenever possible. So I really try not to have many extras. I just have one Christmas one, one anytime. This I got in a D stash. It's not totally my style. This I'm gonna use either in um, October or I think though most likely I'm gonna use it in February. And then more D stash kits. So really I just have like of my own these for our D-Stash kits that I won. And then just of my own collection, I really only have three. So you can see, I really try to keep it minimal and try to be focused with the kits that I buy and making sure they have a place in my lineup. This will obviously have a place soon. It's just a little too early. And then these two are both anytime kits that kind of float around. So that is the kind of extent of my kit lineup and planning. Let me know if you like this kind of video, if you want to see more into like different looks into my collection and my storage, I'm happy to do that. Um, so just let me know in the comments down below, like what you want to see specifically or if you want to see it. And I'm curious to know how you store your kits. Are you a binder person? Are you an album person? Are you somebody like me that does kind of their own thing or kind of a mix so let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in another video bye everyone